Dreams were known to be a product of the high brain activity during REM sleep. In 1953, a phase of sleep accompanied by rapid eye movement was first reported and named REM sleep. During REM sleep, the brain is active, while in another phase of sleep named non-REM sleep, the brain seems in rest. We have four to five cycles of REM and non-REM sleep overnight. Recently, it is known that non-REM sleep is involved in learning and memory, and the REM sleep function was a mystery. This time, we discovered that REM sleep promotes delta wave activity, an activity involved in learning and memory during non-REM sleep. Delta wave is a brain activity that appears during non-REM sleep, and delta waves are known to promote memory consolidation and synaptic plasticity. When I was a graduate student, I became interested in REM sleep, and as a postdoc, I wished to apply novel genetic technology to uncover mysteries about REM sleep. To this end, I visited Dr. Itohara, as he is one of the top mouse genetic researchers in Japan. When uh, Dr. Hayashi joined my laboratory, he proposed to address the role of uh, REM sleep in the development of mouse brain. It is well known that REM sleep is most abundant in newborns and gradually decreases. We established a genetic method to manipulate REM sleep specifically. Therefore, we have now a reliable method uh, to study the physiologic role of uh, REM sleep in detail. Our study indicates that REM, non-REM switch, and wake sleep switch are derived from a single cell lineage that express ATO1 at an embryonic stage. The findings might explain why REM and non-REM sleep are unique in higher vertebrates. We think that uh, evolution of REM, non-REM switch contributed on elevating higher brain function in vertebrates. A major risk in research is the time cost. Dr. Hayashi can take the risk and go uh, straight forward to reach the uh, goal. He also has rich ideas as revealed in this project. As a postdoc in Dr. Itohara's lab, I could focus on my research project with no inconvenience. I learned most of my research strategies from Dr. Itohara. I also learned from him to do research with a long-term perspective. When he first observed the activation of the subset of ATO1 positive cells, causing a completely loss of REM sleep, we were so excited. And I personally respected his uh, foresight very much. Based on studies by us and other groups, it is almost certain that sleep is involved in memory processing. However, uh, there's probably a lot more about sleep. Based on our findings, not only the quantity of sleep, but also the quality of sleep, such as the uh, balance of REM sleep and non-REM sleep, is also important. Currently, widely used hypnotics can increase the amount of sleep, but many of them actually decrease the amount of REM sleep. Now that we can artificially increase or inhibit REM sleep, I hope to examine the effect of manipulating REM sleep on brain maturation and neural diseases.